First Republic Bank. Let's talk about some some First domestic Republic banks. Bank falls um, to its all time low. Yes. Right now, so is this a good time to buy it, or will this be the next the next contestant? Ian, can I give you some? Can I, can I get some will context? This, will this be the yes, next please. contestant over the boat to be thrown over the boat? I'm going to reference what we talked about last week please about please. profitability. Please I'm going to just give context here. So the bank, right? First Republic Bank has tumbled ninety percent over the past month. Ninety percent, eighty percent since March eighth. Buy the dip. <laughs> These thoughts are Rashad Bilal's <laughs> only. <laughs> well, we, we just t- spoke about money being insured. And when there's regional banks and we see it at SVB uh, and, and we, we, we saw what happened there, people start going to get their money. Now, mm-hmm. this statistic is very important. 68% of the money, the deposits that, deposits that are in First Republic were uninsured. 68%. Mm. When people... <laughs> Right. Can you if tell I, them what that means? So that means after two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, right, right, that that is guaranteed to you by the bank. If something happens to the bank, you're guaranteed that. Anything over that limit, loss. Luck. Come on, we don't have it. Yes. we don't have it. And so, if seventy percent of the money that's inside of these banks is not insured, well, if I see regional banks going down because of liquidity issues, then the first thing that I'm thinking as a customer is, okay, I need to take my money out. Mm-hmm. I have to go get my money as fast as possible. Now, what that does for regional banks, it tanks to regional banks. But yes. the inverse of that is what does it do to the major banks? What does it do to Wells Fargo? What does it do to Bank of America? What does it do to Chase? More money gets put into those banks. And so if we're Wells thinking Fargo about- should be going under, though. I'm going to go on the record. <laughs> but everyone else should be safe. But Wells Fargo is, I don't Bank- know how it's still alive. So last week, just last week alone, based on what was happening with regional banks, just for more context, Bank of America received $15 billion in, in deposits last week mm-hmm. alone. Just Bank of America. So, all right. So for these regional banks, what you're saying essentially is that uh, when, as long as there's more money coming in than going out, it's okay. But as soon as it reverses and there's more money that is going out than is going in, everything falls apart. Potentially. That's a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> That's a Ponzi. Listen, the we, can, we can dress it up and call it anything else. And listen, the people are not stupid. Like when you have a feeling that something isn't right and we haven't all been able to put our finger on it, but it's like, how is everything falling apart? And then the banks are worried. I've never in a recession or dramatic pullback like this, seen so many bank executives also be quiet. They also haven't rolled out Warren Buffett to say that the American economy is stronger than ever. This is when you know the economy is good. He's going to be on with Becky Quick. Shout out to Becky on CNBC. He's going to have a little Coca-Cola <laughs> cup and he's going to say, no, the American economy is stronger than ever. Me and Charlie have been sitting around discussing if you hold the S&P for 80 years, everything. He hasn't said a fucking word yet. That's yeah. how you know it is. And they're coming to him and they flew to Omaha, I think 20 banks. And they're working out a deal right 11. now. Or That's 11. where I was going next, Ian, because this is the interesting part, right? When we see these regional banks going down, who do you think is making the call to come help them out? The big boys, right? And so as withdrawals slow down, yep. there was a consortium of 11 banks, including JP Morgan Chase, Bank of America. They all banded together to announce a $30 billion deposit into First Republic. This is no, keep, we have to yeah. stabilize them and keep them alive because yeah. we don't, we can't have people talking like this guy. <laughs> We don't want anybody talking like this guy. And so they're putting money into those banks, into the bank to say, all right, let's stabilize it. Let's keep it afloat. And when we kept saying, hey, these artists are selling their rights to their catalog for a reason. This is no different than Sony buying up all the small labels or when Def Jam was partnering with Rockefeller and Murder Inc. and Rough Riders back in the day. It's the same process. Please write this in chat. Consolidate Mass consolidation is a way to form a quiet monopoly. So now if I'm a bank and you come to me and say, hey, your bank's going to go out of business, I'm going to give you some capital. Am I giving you that capital for free or now do I have a vested interest in your business and now either own parts of your business or you have to pay me a dividend for a certain period of time? This is the easiest way for the too big to fail banks to become even bigger. That's why I always say, if it's not in the top three, don't touch it. Anything else can have risk because you're not just worried about when things are good. You have to focus your portfolio. What do you do 
when it's hell on earth, who will survive? In the banking space, it's always going to be JP Morgan, it's going to be Goldman, mm -hmm. Morgan Stanley, BlackRock, Blackstone. And then Bank of America is like, is like B tier, like it's like Austin Reeves on the Lakers right now, cooking, but still, no, no, still not Braun. <laughs> like I love Brian Moynihan, big fan, but Bank of America is not like a, is not the big player in that space. And even if you look since the recession, of 2008, they went from 253 to a high of 49 bucks. They're currently at 27. Great if you invested from 2008, but if you've invested in 2020 at around like 19 bucks, you haven't seen that much gain. Safe, but they're not the biggest player in this space. Consolidation, mass consolidation is the easiest way to build a quiet monopoly. My graduates from my school being Forbes, backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs> A mic drop. Bag drop. Bag drop.